Well, Sierra Leone's National Electoral Commission says it has taken new measures to ensure that Saturday's election is credible after some citizens expressed concern that political party activities prior to the election could create tension and violence. A viewer's Paul Diho draws a comparison between the recent U.S. presidential election, where the losing candidate accepted defeat, and the likelihood of that happening in Sierra Leone's upcoming vote. The official inauguration day in the United States is January 20th. However, as that is a Sunday in 2013, the public swelling-in of President Barack Obama will be Monday, January 21st, 2013, which is also the legal public holiday for the birthday of the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Mr. Obama, the nation's first African-American president, was elected to a second presidential term after defeating Republican challenger Governor Mitt Romney. President Obama intends to sit down with Mr. Romney in the weeks ahead to talk about how the two can work together in the interest of the nation. And whether I earned your vote or not, I have listened to you. I have learned from you. And you've made me a better president. And with your stories, and your struggles, I return to the White House more determined and more inspired than ever about the work there is to do and the future that lies ahead. A Republican presidential candidate, Amit Romney, conceded the presidential election in a brief address to a subdued crowd in Boston. He said that he had called Obama to congratulate him on his victory and wished the president well. I have just called President Obama to congratulate him on his victory. His supporters and his campaign also deserve congratulations. I wish all of them well, but particularly the President, the First Lady, and their daughters. This is a time of great challenges for America, and I pray that the President will be successful in guiding our nation. Across the Atlantic in the West African nation of Sierra Leone, voters got the polls this Saturday, November 17th. Incumbent President Ernest Bai Koroma, the candidate for the ruling All People's Congress Party, or APC, assumed office in September 2007. Observers say he's likely to defeat his main opposition challenger, former military head of state, Brigadier General Julius Madabio the flag bearer of the Sierra Leone People's Party, or SLPP. It's also worth noting that there are several other presidential candidates seeking the top job. Analysts say the polls are widely seen as a taste of the potentially resourceful rich nation, but Sierra Leone remains one of the world's poorest and least developed countries. This following a devastating 1991-2002 to 2002 civil war. The current government has received praise in the international community for attracting foreign investment, particularly in the mining sector, as well as for improving the country's aging infrastructure and the introduction of free health care to certain vulnerable groups. But the president also faces criticism for failing to tackle extreme levels of poverty, 66% according to the most recent World Bank statistics and high unemployment rates across the country. His term in office has been marred by accusations of corruption leveled against members of his government, including his running mate, Vice President Sam Sumana. Many local civil society monitoring groups and both regional and international organizations are expected to observe the poll. Paul Ndiho, VOA News.